Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Unsealed and Revealed. I'm your host, Terry Smith, and with me, as always, is my incomparable pal, Guy Clender. Hey, Guy, how's it going today? I'm doing great. I got here in no time. I don't know. Can you see my jet behind? They flew me in, in today. In no time it's fantastic. at all. Yeah, I, can, I cannot see a jet yeah, there, Yeah, they flew Guy. me in. It's wonderful. I cannot see a jet there. Spared no expense. <laughs> is, your, is your jet <laughs> invisible? <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> also hanging out with us today down below, who's going to be minding the store for us, fielding all the questions and talking with all of you on the chat is my buddy, Paul Hernandez. Good to see you, Paul. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Terry, it's really good to see you. Guy, it's always good. I feel like there's always so much time, like so much happens between these episodes. And yeah. I'm like, man, I haven't seen you guys in years. <laughs> yeah, it's like I keep trying to catch up with you, um, with you guys, with you especially, Paul, like before the show, but there's just not enough time to keep up. It's uh, well, you know. well, yeah, but look at look at all the traveling. Chris yelling rules at us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you look at all the traveling, Paul. You're like uh, you're over in uh, another. Uni uh, I mean, we're we're you travel I'm in all the time. I'm in Themyscira. I know. Yes. I'm in Themyscira right now. Yeah, I I do. Spring yeah, break. My, uh, I don't want to brag, but um, my American Airlines American Express is pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> Way to use those Man. travel points. Oh yeah, Good but it's you, not dude. an invisible jet. It, I fly coach. <laughs> well, there's and I don't, I don't get to bring luggage though. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. Um, welcome. I, just so everyone knows, we are live on YouTube uh, on the face, SciShow Facebook page. Let your geek side show the SciShow Facebook group. We are live on Periscope slash Twitter and, of course, live on Twitch. If you have any questions, if there's anything you need, let me know. I will relay them to Guy and Terry. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, let's get moving. I'm excited. This is a great figure. I'm so excited that I'm pouring like fresh cup of coffee for myself over here. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Cool. Because I can't. I can't get excited enough about this figure. Um. So wow. Look. Look at what you got there, man. That's a pretty lovely box there. Uh, Ex guy. Exactly. Um. And I always liked. I always liked Wonder Woman spinning around. So this is. This is. You know. I'm just. I'm. I'm doing my thing there. You're totally um, 70s old school. Exactly. Yeah. But by doing that, uh, I landed on a spot that I think is great. Um. This is what Sideshow has been doing with the uh, animated. Or not the animated, but the uh, comic book versions uh, of their figures. And we look and we see that line ink work. And this is done as a wraparound mm. on there. Okay. I love the artwork. Is that, is that George Perez? I believe so. Now, that as, looks like George Perez artwork to me. Um, that's, that's we have a number of it. And then behind, behind her uh, main silhouette, we do have some of the uh, oh. other panels down there. On the back... We get a photo of the figure, and you see that that panel art continues, again, mm -hmm. using that wrap around. Yeah. Now, as we've seen with the figures they do here, they do this incredible artwork. I straight up look forward to this part of your this reveal. Is, when this we is one, one I really, show. I really, really dig. Um and it's Wonder Woman throughout the ages, as you can see, much more modern. And then some of the older classics uh, down here in the bottom, as we saw her originally. On this side here, this is a colorized version of that uh, ink portrait we saw on the outside. And when you remove the figure out of the inner box here, you also have artwork all the way on the inside. And Sam did a great job with our other figures to show off that you, one is inner, one is outer on those. All right. The lighting there on those really popping on that. And this goes all the way around, top, bottom. The only one it doesn't do is on the back. So the packaging on these really is uh, really is something special um, and just something a little bit different. All right. Here we have out of the box. Now, here is a very important announcement, all right? This is a very new and unique bottled uh, body design done by TB League. We're gonna take a look at that. We have the Cigar Band Wonder Woman logo holding the top and lower tray together. We're gonna slide that off, and we're gonna take a look at our two trays and our figure. All right, so as I said, take a look at those uh, care instructions and a little description of uh, what's going on with this new body. On the upper tray, we're going to have the figure. I'm taking a look, or you and I both are, the exclusive, which is going to have the spear. It also has her uh, sword and sheath and 
her lasso, which is done with more of a gold as well. All right, we're going to stand her up there. And then our lower tray is going to have our alternate hands, our stand, and her shield. All right, now I'm going to throw our stand together here, place her on there. And then we're going to do a quick 360, and we're going to talk about why this body and design are so different. Cool. Well, we wouldn't normally, this is, I mean, it's such a new thing to have seamless bodies. There's a reason that we weren't seeing figures that, you know, had bare arm, uh, you know, you wouldn't see people with tank tops or, or other until, well, Terry, when do you think that, when did you first start seeing the seamless body? Uh, being done. 2017. All right. Yeah, not too, not too I long. I, I actually have no memory of what, exactly when it was. It was just a, I was spitballing that one. Let's see if that. Uh, but it's it, you know it's 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 not been too long, but it's all it's it's been a few years now that we're seeing, uh, seeing that. Yeah. And what it allows us to do is get that again. What they say, seamless. Of the figure. All right, so let's take a look. All the way around. Oh, that song's going through my head, man. <laughs> the Wonder Woman theme song or Spin Me Right Round or... Oh, pick one. <laughs> a number of different ones. Um, oh yeah, so, so many songs. I am going to just remove all of our accessories here. So we've got them out, uh, and we'll talk about them. But let's let's uh, let's dive into the figure as far as a head to toe. All okay. right, this is Start done with a sculpted hair uh, on the figure mm -hmm. versus a rooted hair. Now, now, how flexible is that hair? The hair. Uh, let's take a look. I'm going to uh, touch on the points that are softer, as you can see here. Okay, it's very soft. Not so soft that it's not going to stay in place, but not worrying uh, about it. The Literally back, giving you some wiggle room. Okay. Correct. I do have a little bit of wiggle room in the large flow of the mane okay. as well for when I am turning the head. Uh, as you and I, as I, you would coach me through to make sure I do okay. do that at a uh, slower pace uh, as not to uh, scuff the body. As you can see, this is a soft whole thing head to toe is a mm -hmm. softer this is a uh, all metal underneath uh endoskeleton with this uh over it we're getting closer and closer to that terminator i tell you um uh with that but it is allowing uh a lot i was surprised at some of the uh movement and joints that i saw that i can even uh bring the arms not only the arm upward but the shoulder uh upward as well and they are mm -hmm. pretty snug uh when you do them, they aren't ratcheted. Okay, you're not going to hear um, clicks or pops as you uh, put them into uh, poses, but um, but it does hold quite quite nicely. Okay, so we work awesome. our way down for the uh, sculpted shoulders and down in, and then along the waist area, you're going to have the lasso of truth attached there. All right, now that one there, um, you have that one. Little twist there, it's kind of like the lasso of eternity. Yes, you also have a second with a much brighter gold and a little thicker uh, coil mm. to it. Um, they are, of course, going to be interchangeable. And this here, it's not a magnetic closure. That is a uh, little prong and hole. Oh, so, is it really? Yeah, so okay. be careful when you do that. Um, whether uh, you're smaller tweezers or other, uh, be gentle with it. You don't want to yeah, yank it. All right. Yeah, definitely bring some tools into that, man. You, you know, definitely you could, bring you tools when you're fingers. Yeah, when you're when you're doing that. All right. So that's a, that's a quick heads up uh, on that one. There, working our way down again with that classic outfit of the red, white, and blue. This is another eighty years, eighty years since the introduction mm -hmm. of this one here. Then down onto the iconic boot. 
Which one is the iconic booth? The left or the right? I can't <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you know, with the red and white stripe, and these mm -hmm. are a heeled boot. As you can see, they are a cut. Okay, this is a ball joint. It connects to the, a uh, metal uh, ball socket. Right. Uh, because I said, as I as I mentioned, the entire body. Uh, is all going to be that, okay? Also up on the wrist, right. we'll see that when we swap mm -hmm. out the hands that you do have an interchange on that. Mm -hmm. um, now, before I start to work on some of the uh, articulation points and kind of go over those, um, Paul, Terry, any questions yes. that anybody has, them or yourself, before I start to yes. sh talk, to, talk uh, how much you can pose it? Yeah, I think um, the question that everyone um, currently has, because we have just started getting into this, is uh, if you guys could explain, because again, um, this may be someone's first show, this may be someone's first six scale. Um, what exactly do you mean by seamless body, and why are you know why okay. is it so unique? That's an excellent question. I'm glad you asked. Uh, you know what? Um, I am going to have Terry tackle that while I start okay. to work well, on stuff. points of articulation. Okay. Uh, seamless figure body, as Guy and I were talking about earlier on in the show, is a relatively new innovation in, to, in the world of six scale figures. Historically speaking, uh, when a when the figure bodies were first introduced to create six scale figures, they obviously had ex when you had exposed joints, then you would actually be able to see visibly the engineering um, and the individual pieces of the points of articulation, be it here in the in the um, in the shoulder, in the elbow, at the wrist peg, what have you. But what TB League and other companies like them have recently introduced into this hobby is sort of something along the lines of, and, and this goes to Guy's Terminator comment, uh, sort of something along the lines of the T-600 that was discussed in the first Terminator film, where we're talking about a metal, endo, a metal endoskeleton with a rubber skin suit over the top of it that completely hides all those points of articulation. The cool part about this is that it enables us to do what you're seeing right here. Have a character with exposed limbs, exposed joints, and you, but you don't actually see those points of articulation. They are concealed, thereby giving you a bit more of a feel of authenticity, something that more accurately resembles the character itself without that disconnect that might occur when you see an exposed joint. Hope that explained everything. What do you think, Paul? Did I leave anything out? No, um, yeah. I think, I think, I mean, I understand it perfectly and I am, I am a novice when it comes to six. Okay. And I really wasn't completely sure of a lot of the uh, seamless bodies, but um, again, as you know, kind of uh, letting the momentum snowball from that question, Terry, um, and also Guy, while Guy is posing that, um, when it comes to posing and if you're not doing like a museum type pose, do you yes. worry about, um, like, you know, with fabric about it stretching over time is, are there any concerns there? Well, here's my take on it. And I've, I've never, I've, I've owned at one time or another, um, a, a couple of uh, figures with seamless bodies. I've never had an issue with any rips, tears, anything like that. But I have a tendency when I display my own six scale figures to go more towards a hero pose or a museum pose. I just think it's much more attractive. Plus, I kind of like the challenge of nailing that authenticity when it's it's a little bit more challenging to make a figure pose in a way that's that reads as natural when you're doing it in a museum pose. Uh, you can just the way that the human body behaves when it's in in the midst of action. Um, you can, it's really easy to dial in a good action pose that's believable, but it's a lot harder to do so with a uh, with a uh, museum pose or a hero pose, in my opinion. Um, so because I, I go with more relaxed poses, so to speak, I've never had any sort of issues with the, with this skin. Now, that being said, I'm pretty sure that if, uh, if we had any, an instruction manual here, we'd probably see something warning you not to go too extreme with say, the armpit area don't pose for too long a figure with the uh with the arm raised overhead say with a sword in its hand because you are going to stretch the uh the material right here under your armpit and that can put stress on it to the point that it may actually create cracks and or tears so just use caution and use common sense to do it for a short amount of time let's say if you wanted to do a, fo a photograph of your photo of your figure and post it online to show it off to your friends yeah by all means do that but just realize that if you leave it there those stresses will continue to add up and you may actually damage your figure. Yeah. 
Um, I, I, I am going to concur with everything Terry said. Um, there is a, uh, as I said, a whole thing about handling uh, and the difference because this is a different take. Uh, we've seen on our show and perhaps you've seen on some of these other figures uh, where there will be a skin like that. Sometimes it's a very thin layer uh, where this one here is actually a metal body and then this thing is all molded on over it. So it is much thicker. When I'm pushing here on the leg area, if you can see that, yeah, you'll see how it's pulling away from the the undertaker. So there's, you know, a large amount of it uh, that is used to create uh, the figure. Does that mean that it's going to last a heck of a lot longer? Hmm. That's that's to be determined. Uh, again, as we've talked about, Terry's talked about, and others, um, you avoid that direct sunlight and heat. And yeah, I don't think I'd leave her in this running stance for too long. But again, she makes for a quick photo op. I mean, this was a quick one because I wanted to kind of show off a little bit about uh, how those joints move, particularly like in the knees or the elbows, uh, when right. you see those, that you do have this incredible wow, amount look of at that. Uh, flexibility. If I kind of wanted to have that. Uh, but that's pretty much true to form with any with any of these types of bodies that I've dealt with. I mean, they have a, a an absurd amount of articulation. Something to do with that metal metal endoskeleton. I don't know why I have such a hard time enunciating that, but I do. Something to do with the metal endoskeleton allows the figure to have just that much more play when you're doing it, when you're bending it at the elbows or at the knees or even at yeah. the hips. Uh, every every uh, figure that I've dealt with uh, that's that's had a seamless that's been a seamless figure body has well has worked like that so. Well, as you can see, I'm doing all kinds of stuff. It looks like I'm doing one of those bar exercises. Um, <laughs> but uh, do take uh -huh. a look that you get an incredible amount. Um, I'm going to have Sam kind of do a little close-up uh, toward the knee area when we're going to bend here. Uh, because I do want you to see that it does have a pretty natural human it does. knee look. At look that. Yeah. As we do it, it, it naturally moves. Okay. And that's remarkable. So it doesn't really have kind of a knob uh, kneecap or anything like that. So as I move it through, and right now I'm just doing it in an extension, mm -hmm. it does have a much more natural look. As you can see, uh, no no problem with range of motion. <laughs> where, no, not so uh, If, you, uh, if you're recreating oh. the Wonder Woman Rockettes uh, show uh -huh. uh, for 4th of July, uh, as you can see, you got that. Wow, Nailed look it. at that. That's... Uh, that's pretty crazy. That's quite, well, that's you know, quite impressive. And what I did not realize that I had done, Terry, is I just showed you Treadwatch. Oh, look at that. Can you believe Man, it? I didn't have time. I did not even <laughs> realize I had done it, and pow. Boom. She's got those. Well, that's, pr that's pretty typical of a heeled boot. A pretty yeah, typical of a heeled boot. You're, you're not, not getting a lot of traction on those. Yeah. A lot of traction on those. Uh, but while we do have it there, we will take a look at this ankle joint. As I said, this is a ball ankle joint, uh, allowing it when you do kind of put it wherever you would like into position, you do have the ability to move the upper part to close that seam up. Mm. All right. But then, yeah, again, there's that knee bend. And it's nice. I mean, we're not getting a really kind of awkward, uh, flattened, squashed uh, look there in the knee, which... Um, would obviously be something one might uh, expect uh, with this type thing. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. To the side again. Wow. She's well. She was known for incredible Amazon abilities. That's, uh, yeah, that's a great. That's it's a incredible great split. splits that we can do uh, on the figure there. So your forward and your and your back is also uh, if you saw on that run stance I did that you can really. Put the leg far back so that that leg joint is is one of the most uh flexible we've seen and again without removing this out uh the outer uh, mm -hmm. uh and then you know you can't really see but my guess would be that it was again very much the ball joints up into um all of the articulation points there's an inquis there's an inquisitive part of me that really wants to get it <laughs> yeah, exactly on, on one of those endoskeletons well, with uh with, just to see what it's capable of Without the uh, the constraints imposed upon it by the yeah, by the what exactly does parts. it does it look without the uh, without the yeah. faux the faux skin? Yeah. What is I'm the guessing. what is the armature like? 
I'm guessing that the range of motion, well, the sky is probably the limit. So Can I, I, I just split some of them? Yep. This okay, we're gonna Wow, that's really remarkable. Okay, so that's um I'm not exactly sure this is a pose you're going to do, but uh, you know, you can. Um but this does uh talk up to the arm area. As you can see when I'm doing uh, raise up. I can even raise. Yeah, look at that. You can actually see the way that her um, deltoids are actually almost yes. flexing. Yes. Yep. You can. You, you raise, it actually changes right there, right? changes the look of the deltoid on there. When I'm moving mm -hmm. that arm forward or other, there's to the side. It has a very natural look. That, that kind of a full on straight arm punch that she would be doing there. Uh, again, really. Really great naturalistic. Now, so we so we talked about the deltoid there. Um, I want to spin it around to show the armpit area, only because again, this is about uh, often when we talk about these type of things, it's like, well, 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 where are the creases going to be when it's going to look strange? Uh, mm -hmm. And for myself, I've not really seen any that look too awkward. I haven't seen anything that you've done yet that has created on a, there. A, what I would consider. While we've got crease. it here, let's do the elbow the same way. I'm going to turn the mm -hmm. lights off there so you can see it. But you can see it's got those natural dimples on the two sides. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do a little. Very wow, natural. Man. That's really good. Very natural there. Uh, again, the gauntlet is going to be adjustable. So uh, I'm not worrying about that while I'm uh, doing this particular pose and bend. Uh, because it's that soft, pliable material, when I do do it here, if it does have that pinch, I can kind of give it a move to do it, but as you can see, that that whole thing, boom, back and forward on that. You really have a lot of range of motion. And another uh, point of articulation is gonna be right up here in the neck that I can not only put that forward, but as you can see, the neck is even going. Oh yeah, so there's a joint there at the base of the it's neck. A joint at saying. the base of the neck. So yeah, I have and again, that. there's no, there's legitimately no, um, no unnatural wrinkling or anything going on there. Looks, that's that's what it's very... impressing me the most on this figure so far is uh, that there isn't an unnatural look to, uh, to it when I'm mm -hmm. uh, at those points. That there's, as you said, no unnatural uh, creasing, right, uh, on there. Now I think we've kind of gone over where we articulate on all of this. Um, so before we jump into the next, which is our accessories and other, uh, yourself, Paul, or those of you watching questions, let's answer them now. Well, I'm not a hundred percent sure if they're, I think people now, the big question is, can we please see the accessories that it comes with? All right. I particularly <laughs> want to see that spear. I love that spear so much. All right. It, it is incredible. Here we go. This is your exclusive Rad. Spear. This one here is, uh, you've got a 12 inch figure and almost a 12 and a half inch spear. Okay. With the, uh, with the fabric elements tied off to it there. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm guessing those are, is that actual fabric there? This yeah. is actual fabric done on there. It's loosely cool. tied on there. So depending on where you wanted to position it. You so you could straight to? up you could straight up replicate that classic OG uh, Wonder Woman premium format pose if you wanted to with this. Oh yes, that's a, mm -hmm. I I believe you own that figure, correct? I do have that statue. Yeah, the, uh, the over the display, arm, but, the over the arm yeah. one. Um, yeah, I've uh, quickly thrown on one of the additional hands that you have here, which is a much more open hand. This could cool. you could use this for the spear. You could also use it for the sword that we will show. Yeah, kind of a loose okay. hold on the uh, lasso, if you wanted, as well. So these are also done in that same... Yeah, so it holds there. Nice. What I do yeah. want to do then, but I do want to hold it. I'm going gonna, yeah, gonna to tweezer it here for a second because I... Tweeze that thing. Well, what yeah. I want to show is if uh, he can do a uh, close-up, you can see on the fingers, which is a neat nail work on there. Not my own, but hers are looking pretty great. All right. So it has a very natural. Well, it's, uh, it's hard to justify getting into a manicurist. Exactly. So. Exactly. Um, then you have an open right and left palm as well. 
You see the mm -hmm. ones that she comes with are going to be um, your fists, but slightly open. As you can see, that's what we talked about with the metal joint ball connection. Yeah, you can see that's just an extension of the metal uh, of mm -hmm. the metal under the body actually. The metal underbody of the suit there. So that's yep. your uh, that's as much as you're going to see of it right now without slicing the skin off of your uh, yes of your but figure. Which you by go. the way, Sideshow heartily recommends that you do not that you, try to that you don't do the that. Idea. That's that's I would I would let's not put any ideas in anybody's nope, head. I wouldn't do that one. <laughs> I wouldn't do that one. Uh, next next accessory here is going to be sword and scabbard. Oh, it's a nice little uh, shorty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very Fling. much uh, evocative of um, of the Greek uh, swords. Yes. Now this is uh, this is going to be a molded plastic and then painted. This is not done with a die cast, but does have a great metal sheen to it. It does have a great metal they sheen. They wrapped great. wrapped leather on the pommel. She's got the little red star <laughs> as well. All right, and that does fit into the sheath. I'm gonna hold the sheath up and we'll talk about that as well. All right, this part down here is going to be plastic. It is molded, the thing slides right in. It's gonna be a leather that goes over. If you wanna do it over the head, just remove that and set that down. Um, okay. And again, be careful um, of your connection point on that. Okay. Um, but, uh, and then lastly, but certainly not, certainly not least. Certainly not least. I, I <laughs> really how, like these bright. Look at that. Bright, bright metallics. Yeah. That's all texture too, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's all. Yep, uh... yep. This is a raised texture. Yeah. Raised texture of the stars. The bright blue of the background. And then on the back is going to be handles. And those are done with real leather as well. Wow. All right. When you're going to do these... Um, when you're going to put that on, this is one that uh, is going to be just like the Captain America mm -hmm. uh, that you and I did, where uh, they I would recommend putting the yeah, hand on, the, uh, yeah, uh, onto the shield and then slide over. If that's the pose that we're going to do, we'll uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Cool, cool. So, but that takes so care speaking, of our accessories. So speaking of uh, speaking of posing, guy, mm -hmm. mm, I think it's about time. Oh. I had a feeling we were going to do that. Yeah, I'm ready to take my up. class. Let's talk right. to me. Um, okay, so before I do, though, I just kind of want to bring up that in about 15 minutes or so, we are going to begin our weekly Guess the Reveal contest. And, uh, of course, the winner of that game. Okay, for those who aren't aware, the Guess the Reveal contest is the part of the program in which we encourage all of you watching out there in the chat to guess what next week's figure is going to be that we open and reveal to you on Unsealed and Revealed. Um, when the time comes, I'll I'll let you know. And you can just like hammer away at your keyboard just as many guesses as you want. Paul's gonna try to keep uh, track of it and guess, uh, you know, figure out which one of you uh, gets it right the first time. And the winner of this contest will receive um, the book Figure Fantasy by Daniel Picard. It is a lovely book. It's, it's been around for quite some time. It's been very popular. Uh, what Daniel has done is he's taking he's he's taking six scale figures by Hot Toys and Sideshow, what have you, and he is putting them into actual environments in a way that's almost unparalleled. It's it's a, it's really really a lovely book, and anybody who wins this is going to be very glad that they did. So hang out another fifteen minutes, and we'll be dropping that announcement, and you can uh, let us know what you think the figure is going to be. Now, right. without further ado, let me see what I've got here. While you were All doing right, that, guy. Terry, I did attach, if we do uh, choose to use it, I did slide that hand, the left hand, into that's good. shield. In yeah. case we use it, that's what we talked about. Um, oh, we're before. using it. All righty. Oh, we're so using it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, well, so um, so I see you have that uh, that set for the left hand, correct? Uh, yes, I yeah, because I had the yeah. right hand with the lasso. So while you were uh, talking about the book, um, I wanted to just jump That's up, perfect. jump okay. ahead. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that shield on her left hand then. All righty, we'll do so. And uh, yeah, and I'm thinking, oh, does anybody have a coin out there? I would like to do like a coin toss to decide if we're going to do spear or sword for this. Um, yeah. My time no? has come. <laughs> <I have three laughs> Finally, yeah. Uh, three <laughs> coins in a fountain. Um, okay, alrighty. okay, okay, super producer Sam, we're gonna super do super producer Sam, sword and tails for a spear, right? Yes, 
Yeah, all Super right, producer cool. Sam is going to hand me... All right, look at that. I don't know if you oh, can see. You. And that's right. a one-one scale single dollar silver dollar. That is fantastic. That he's handed me. You, uh, I'm very glad that this uh, not is not a two-face uh, coin. Um, is that, is that a, can, I see, can I see the head of that? It looks like a half dollar, right? Nope. Or is that a silver nope, dollar? Nope, this is a is that full dollar. Look at yep. that. That's straight up Eisenhower. Look yes. Do you have that in your pocket, Sam? This is something <laughs> Sam has in his pocket. Um, I have three of them. So apparently um, on one of the shows, we're going to do Guess What's in My Pocket. Uh, it'll be uh, another uh, thing. It'll be what kind of things we find in Sam's pocket. But right now... That'll be the Hobbit, that'll be the Hobbit show. Yes, exactly. When we do our Lord of the Rings figures. But um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am going to do a flip. Do you have your decided, uh, Terry, the, what is going to be heads one of your tails? Heads the sword, tails the spear. All right. And we have heads. Okay. Sword it is. All right. Very cool. Sword it is. Yeah. Sword in right hand, shield in left. Let's sort this out. Oh. <laughs> All right. Wait, Sam, are you carrying that with you just in case you meet like a troll under a bridge or something like that? I, I mean, I carry coins on me all the time. I in case you got to pay the in case you got to pay the ferryman. <laughs> it's crucial. Yeah, it's important. It's, I, it's I'm a, surprised I don't do that. It's um yeah, it's important. I'm I'm surprised that Paul did not groan. Uh at uh, at any of our bad uh, almost dad joke. Uh, He's used to it. Yeah. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he that's what. That's why there's that mute button, so he doesn't have to say, yeah. "Oh, good gosh." Um, yeah. I, I <laughs> all right. So we've got our right. shield in left. Thank you very much for the coin, Sam. Uh, and our sword in right at the moment, uh, leaving okay, our so, lasso on the hip. All right. So um, let's try. I'm trying to think. I want her looking towards the uh, the shield side, towards her left side. Okay. So let's turn that head and see what kind of play we get there. All right. I'm going to gently fold uh -huh. the hair over. Right. As I move it. Um, having the adjusted, uh, having the additional ability with that neck gives me a little bit more turn. Okay, how far do we want that turn? Oh, that's there, looking sir? good. That's looking good already. Okay. How do you like that um, turn? I like it just fine. I don't like her body position. I think she, no, no. she's kind of leaning forward. Yeah, I Correct. want to get that yep. straightened out when All right. can. Um, also, also she has great also waist think... articulation. Um, and so right there, I kind of had the waist yeah. push forward, and I'm sorry about that. Um, when we talked about articulation, you think, you think maybe we need to do the uh, the Terry twist right now, or we uh, can Terry twist it now. Is she twisting to the right to go with that looking to the shield? I think she's going to be doing that. Yeah, it's going to be just a steady uh, like head goes to the left, um, um, torso goes to the left. We're just going to kind of create this like slight rotation all the way down to her feet, right? Like she's turning. So into we've it. got a turn. Mm -hmm. How's that for our trunk twist? That's good. All right, that's good. Yeah. Now let's bring that sword arm. Let's uh, rotate that sword arm back a little bit, like a quarter inch, maybe half an inch. All right. And uh, see how the shield, the way that we're looking at, I don't know if you can see yourself on the screen, Guy, if you've mm -hmm. got a monitor going there or anything, but let's face her towards the camera. Mm -hmm. And you can see how the shield is just kind of lost to foreshortening. Mm -hmm. there. So let's take that shield and rotate it um, that way, yeah, so that we can actually see that glorious graphic that that okay. uh, all the all that design that's going on there okay beautiful did that by uh just twisting the wrist peg versus any mm -hmm. movement of arm right cool for those playing now, along I'm trying to decide here uh, well it'd be really cool for this is if she had something to put her foot on but we don't have anything like that except for her stand uh so let's just well, kind I, can, of, I mean I, we can kind of do it with a stand would you want a right or a left leg up if she was having a, had a small step up left leg Left leg shield. Obviously, leg. the one. That, obviously, of, of course, I'm going to want the one that you didn't put up there, guy. <laughs> That's all right. That's, That's all right. I don't mind that. That's how this works. That's how this works, buddy. Yeah, because I kind of want her hand to be close to her thigh there uh, when we're all done with this. I just want her kind of relaxed, like she's. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. Am I turning the legs out at all, good. or? Oh, only only ever so slightly. I mean, we don't want them. We don't want the feet to be parallel. Uh, no. We do want a little bit of a. Yeah. So a little straight up. Ooh. 
Wow. Now take that arm and bring it closer to her side. Which arm? I'm taking shield I'm arm sorry, and right putting arm. it more. The right arm, the right arm, the sword arm. Sword arm. Yeah. Closer to body. Yeah, just, more, just more relaxed, you know? Okay. Yeah. Both of them will be. Uh... All right. So more straight arm on the shield or yeah. right about there? I think right there. And okay. uh, also you can see, if you look at the monitor, you can see that she's kind of leaning forward a little bit. I'd kind of like to get her a little bit more proud. Uh, you know, chest out, uh, just like t just standing tall, like almost like she's at the ready. There's a bit of a suggestion of uncertainty when she's kind of slouched like that when she's just All standing, right. or maybe, or maybe a bit of exhaustion. I don't know. Well, you know, right. for those of us that have taken the Terry Smith posing classes, they can be exhausting. Just hearing me talk can get exhausting. It's <laughs> yeah. no, uh, yeah, no, no one, no one minds the dulcet tones of the Silver Fox. Oh, nice, man. Thank you. All right. How's that one? A little more proud as far as the standing upright? I don't, Let me just, uh, yeah, let's, uh, rot can we rotate it just a little bit more so that she's facing the camera? Because right now we're just looking straight on to her torso. No, facing the camera. Oh, facing. The sorry. See, I'm doing that's a, right. that. How's that? Is that better? That's better. That's better. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would probably have that sword arm relaxed and maybe even rotate it back a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to relax. Yeah. There you go. That's looking cool. That's it. Not quite straight, just a slight, ever so slight bend, but I think what you got right there is pretty, pretty, it's okay. pretty awesome. A little bend. Yeah. All right. Now, yeah. obviously, she's in high heels, folks, so uh, you're going to have to uh, finagle as, a little bit as far as your balance, but that is without a stand. Okay, I'm not doing her with a stand right now. That's pretty impressive. She's just using the stand to step up. Yeah. That looks really good, man. But yeah, she's. Yeah, I, I'm. What I'm impressed by a bunch is the. When I'm when I'm moving it like that, that we're not seeing, uh, squash together. Uh, if I can, I'm going to spin it around. It sounds silly to 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 look at it, but the back of the knees. That you see that those kind of have that. It again has that natural dimple. Those dimples that you typically the natural see in dimple a, to it. Um, yeah. that you wouldn't. You know, wouldn't necessarily expect. I'm trying to uh -huh. get her a little more fully upright. I realize I can't. Yeah, I think there's a, yeah, just a little bit of work. Once I had her for, too far you know, forward. I said then twerking? I, twerking. Uh, and, yeah. and I had her a little too far forward and then a little too far back. Yeah, looks good. I'm going to step out of the way so you can judge my work. I'm thinking, <laughs> yeah. Don't judge me. <laughs> All right, so that's cool. That's pose number one. I dig it. All right, um, pose number one. Hey, Paul, is there uh, any questions oh, or anything like that? Or says, any comments Sam, that is, want to say? Sam wants her pose without the shield, but with a large coin. No, 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 that's not the case. What oh, are we is doing? Is not the large coin there? Is that oh, what do you think? <laughs> Just put the large um, coin. I, I love this. Um, and, of course, our collective community with the love between uh, – what you do, Terry, and what you do, Guy, they have a great idea. Um, and I think everyone should be doing this at home. We'll call it, you know, you know, pose along or play along at home if you have this. If you've yes. got the Wonder Woman figure or any of the figures going down the line with Unsealed and Revealed, do your absolute best to copy the exact pose that Guy Ooh. Clender uh, has created with the advice of Terry. And then tag us on social, wherever you post it. We're at Sideshow, at Sideshow Collectibles. I um, you can also use the hashtag. I love this idea um, so we much. We should say Unsealed yeah. and Revealed um, at home. I, I love that, like that idea. Uns tagging. Unsealed at home? Maybe not that one. No? You and our <laughs> home? Um, yeah. I, I love we'll that idea. That I think that's really neat. I know that uh, if you've uh, won any of our giveaways and this and the other, it's always fun for me to know, um, hey, when you get it, show us. Yeah, I don't care if it's you taking yeah. it out of the uh, brown shippering box. Uh, that is also considered pose number one, is the removal from the brown shipper box. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and a fairly common pose, too. Yes. All right. But, uh, so, but it's a good Do we one. have time for another pose? Uh, let me ask Alan. Alan is... Yeah. Okay, it was a thumbs Producer up. Alan I was making sure exactly what uh, what he was doing there. Uh, yes, I got a thumbs up on here. So I'm going to go back into a bit more neutral with her until you yeah. tell me. Um, am I still doing shield and sword or am I doing a little of this exclusive this. spear? Let's leave that shield in there. I think I want to bring that spear into play. All right, bringing spear into play. So I'm going to remove the right hand. Okay, and again, mm -hmm. I do want to show off that ball joint or Sam is going to uh, 
show that off. But you do have that metal. This here, also I, I know it's, I'm probably breaking somebody's. I'm pro somebody probably thinks that I'm pulling a faux pas by not having her do something with her lasso. But quite <laughs> frankly, I'm I'm more smitten by Wonder Woman when she's using uh, when she's, she's using those edged weapons, man. It's, oh, the spear thing. Um, so I'm gonna do a close up here of this of the hand to show that, as you can see, it is a soft pliable. So when I go mm -hmm. to put it around the spear, no problems. Okay. okay, good. So got it on spear hand. Placing back on. Now this will, um, Terry, here's, here's something to, to discuss. Normally when you and I uh, uh, talk about connection points and this, that, and the other, we talk about, you know, get as close. You do want to do that uh, with here. Uh, perhaps with uh, when you're doing the uh, feet or the uh, hands, uh, holding on the the uh, gauntlet isn't you're not going to really have the pressure point uh, uh -huh. so hold a little bit back here and it does feel different because it's not a harder plastic it does have that give um, okay so it's, it's, so it's a different thing to get used to when uh, when right. you're doing it but all right it. spear and shield so standing I'm, straight so well what I want you to do here. what I want you to do is bring her shield up like she's like she's guarding okay all right so like she's guarding against a potential attack or preparing for an attack herself you with me okay yep Get it right up like she's looking over the edge of it. Like she's looking over the top of it. Okay. And if if only I had a, a shield somewhere. <laughs> which I do, but I'm not going to get up and go back there and try to find it. So. Uh, okay. Are we going to yeah. be covering uh, the face a little bit? That she's, like you said, peering over. Because then, then I'm high up like so. I don't think so. I don't think that much. I think that when you think about what we're going to be doing here, what you want to do with your six scale figures... I mean, if you were going to be doing it for a photo, then maybe you'd want to have it up that high. But for display in a in a, okay. in a uh, case or on a shelf or what have you, you'd probably want to show off that face a little bit more. Right. So what I really want is I want that shield to be really, really close to her face, as close as you can get it. Close to the face and close to the body, correct? Okay. Yeah, like say maybe um, the, the six scale equivalent of um, six inches away from the face. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get snug there, and kind of over like, like tick. I don't know if you can see my. Uh, yeah, I want her hand just like I, I would. I would like her fist like just to the right side of her face, if if it can go that far. We were just talking about how uh, how flexible these things are, but. Uh, are we talking a. Uh, that snug to the face? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And right. we're also going to turn her head. We're also going to turn her head so that she's facing right over that shield. All right. right. We're right over our yeah. shield. That's good. That looks really good right there. Now, I'm, I don't know if the figure's going to be capable of this, okay. but we're going to try it anyway. But what I would like to do is have you ever seen in a movie, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, where a warrior, a spear wielding warrior will have the spear up like this mm -hmm. and a shield up like this and like almost resting on the top of the shield. I, I want to say that um, the Amazons did that either in one of the Wonder Woman movies or in the Justice League movie. I'm not sure which. Okay. But if we Let's can, see. If we so can we're talking that up, up. Yeah. Give me a moment here. Actually kind of. It might require you to, to just play around with the, uh, with the wrist and everything. And if we can't do that, then we, then there are other things we can do with it as well. But this is just a test. To well, see I'd like able. to, I'd like to that. impress you. Look at that. Oh, this is okay. That's a good start. I think that we might be able to work with this. There's really something the the finessing the the fine art of of spear wielding as a as a combat form. It's like I remember when I was a, a kid, just thinking like, if you were going to have a spear, you would either throw it or you would stab with it. But the the grace of the movements that you can use as, with with a spear is like a martial art. Is really something um the way that they just kind of like use it as an elongated sword so to speak just a melee weapon so you couldn't do it the other way with the hand uh well i i was trying to see if if it would look better with thumb backwards so the uh the um outside yeah, of the wrist is, is out posture. or if it's if it's in i can do either one yeah try to do it the other way around like she's going to be thrusting with it like uh, with the thumb on top, like she was going to be thrusting with it. Okay, we're talking a little more like that. Yes. Yeah, like that. You got it. Okay. Yeah. 
and you want the okay then let's lift the arm I am amazed at the amount of points of movement so when I'm uh, going to to uh, to do it it's yeah. it's got a natural uh, okay. move there now I don't think that this is going to work and I'll tell you why it looks like the balance is becoming an issue it's starting to fall back so we're not going to be able to get it oh are you going to prove me wrong no well, I'm trying to prove you wrong I mean not intentionally. You go right ahead and prove me wrong, man. I'm a big not intentionally game. proving you wrong, but but I am trying to get that up over because I know what you're trying to to go for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that uh, that twist there is really really hard to achieve. Let's see. I'm gonna move the arm way far back, mid thrust up there. All right. What I'm gonna do with it then? is um, kind of use the shield as a balance point. Well, if you have to lower the sh if you have to lower the shield to make it work, then do it. But. Might, might lower the shield a little. Um, yeah. What I'm doing here is uh, working with the hair itself. By having the arm fully back, it's actually kind right. of putting it under the hair. So I'm trying to okay. lift there. There we go. There we go. Had to kind of lift and move hair. Terry, I'm just going to show you kind of what I've got. It's more of a to the side, but with a Terry trunk right. twist, it will change. So that's that's all right. Do you want to? Yeah, uh, let's just let's just go with that for now. And if we can, um, I, is there anybody else there that uh, that we can introduce into this whole uh, scenario? Yes, hopefully she wouldn't be uh, battling two other uh, people that right. we have here, but. Mm -hmm. We do have happened. two of her other friends. Hey, look at that. Have shown up to hang out. All right. That Batman figure I love. Oh, I know. I still haven't had my hands on the Superman figure yet, but uh, I, okay, it's fun. Change. I, I, yeah, I believe you. And he, he actually comes with the little uh, City of Candor, which I think is neat. So. Okay. That's All kind right. of a fun one. Well, I'm actually, I'm kind of anxious to see what uh, what our viewers out there who have the Wonder Woman figure were able to pull off with this with this pose idea that I had. Uh, so again, as uh, as Paul has suggested, we should uh, guys, if you have it, try to hit a pose similar to this. You know what I was going for. And um, did we decide on a hashtag yet, Paul? Like a firm uh, one or a... Nope, not yet. That's <laughs> a uh, we got to take that to the writers' room, but we'll get back. Yeah, to that. Let's, <laughs> let's definitely let's definitely plan on doing this sometime in the future again, like Here's next one. week perhaps. Hashtag Wonderposer. Hashtag Wonderposer. Nice. Yeah, do that. <laughs> <laughs> let's roll with that. Um, by the way, it is a now quarter till. Actually, a little bit, a few minutes after. So, I think the time has begun for us to begin the guess the reveal contest. So, all of you out there watching at home. It's your time to try to predict what figure we're going to be playing with next week. Um, go ahead and pound it out in the comments. Just let us know what your best guess is. Multiple guesses are allowed. Um, and uh, try to wear Paul out. I want this guy to look harried. I just want him to look absolutely exhausted by the time we're all done. Uh, <laughs> he's looking like something uh, smelly over there, but uh, yeah. <laughs> he wanted me to be hairy. <laughs> <laughs> harried, H-A-R-R-I-E-D, yeah. It's oh, okay. I was going to say I'm another... Gonna bring, I'm going to bring that word back. Why, is, yeah, why does everybody I'm need to have hair? Some of us don't have hair, okay? Uh, it doesn't have to always be about the hair. All right, awesome. She's uh, she's very... This is, a, this is a neat new thing to be able to do. Uh, with yeah, this type so. of uh, with this type of body, mm -hmm. I like that you actually brought the uh, brought the spear arm back like she's throwing it. That's good. Um, I thought maybe if I I pulled it back, I got a little more action. I can use the edge of the mm -hmm. shield to balance it out. Um, yeah, the hair uh, I'm kind of pulling as as far as I can up over the shoulder without feeling that it's uh, going to be problematic. Yeah. And she would, and she would throw that. I mean, given opportunity. And, well, there's and, uh, something I did. I should have thought of that beforehand. I'm gonna move uh, move bats over here, but um, because of the flow of the hair, she has these wisps of hair going up. Yeah. It laid right on top, and doesn't look weird. Oh, nice. Okay. See how it spun. I do. Between those, I yeah. mean, the hair. It, 
It's not like it gives it a weird look, but it does allow me to balance it straight up. Cool, cool. Ha, huh, that's kind of fun. Awesome. Oh, the things you learn. I should point out, by the way, that, um, that I do not have any idea myself what um, what next week's figure will be uh, when we're doing these uh, these contests um, because uh, they want to, they want me to be surprised just like they want you to be surprised. In fact, I'm not even sure Guy knows yet. Um, I I have never been told no uh, what these are, and in fact, uh, w if we get to the point where we have to give hints, um, I usually yeah. pull the microphone out of my ear because I don't want to know. Uh, to yeah. me, it's a lot of fun when um, mm -hmm. when it's just you guys. Uh, I like not having a, a clue in the least. <laughs> Can tell you now, no one has come close. No one. Wow. has No one has come close. Guy, what is your favorite? What is your favorite? Uh, how, have you followed the Wonder Woman character at all? I mean, what is your favorite incarnation of Wonder Woman? I think I know. Um, you know, uh, it, it started for me. Uh, I am an I'm an older individual. And so seeing Linda Carter in the role. You're, you're my age. Shut up. Yep. Uh, seeing Linda Carter in the role uh, uh, really was was my introduction, uh, was mm -hmm. TV. Uh, that's a, a lot of my uh, pop culture knowledge is, is really in film and TV. So that was that was the introduction. And I love that it was this, you know, it wasn't set in modern time. At that time, it wasn't like it was in the 70s or anything like that, um, uh, which was really uh, pretty neat. So that was it. And I think it was... Um, definitely cemented that that would be my favorite when um, I was in a little bar and restaurant in San Diego and uh, there was a pool table and a woman walked over and asked if I was willing to play because her uh, no one was playing with her and didn't want to do it alone mm -hmm. and it was indeed Linda Carter. No. So, yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Uh, so I got to play pool with Wonder Woman, and so that uh, th that that right there, that that kind of I I can't that's, stop that's, that. Yeah, I, I can't I can't, I can't that say that I've I've had a favorite yeah. uh, since. So that was uh, that was that was my favorite. Um, I'm loving uh, the new take. Um, you know. Uh, yeah, me too. That was big. I'm a big. I, I really really loved it. Uh, Wonder Woman 1984. I've got to say, yeah, Paul. You know, um, how are we doing? How are we, we doing? Uh, yeah. Well, um, we're doing well uh, because <laughs> no one has come close. No one has come close. Uh, awesome. So awesome. I guess it is time for me to give everyone a hint. Guy, you can take that I'm head piece the out if, you're, if, if you want. All right. So, everyone, your hint. He's a real bastard. I, are you done giving the hint? Because I because I, I muted you for uh, for a second. I don't. I did not want a hint. So. Yeah. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So All there right. is your hint, everyone. That should do it. I think these should start um, rolling in now. People are guessing things that um, I don't even think have been announced. So I'm learning some stuff. So <laughs> learning some stuff. It's I the Terry Smith. That's right. Going on. We're, it, oh, and we have a winner. Okay. Okay. Boom. We have a winner. Congratulations. Um, are you going to tell us now, or are you going to hold off like you usually do, you evil fiend? <laughs> tell us who our winner is. Raz almost. Um, Roz, almost on YouTube. Congratulations. You're the first person I saw here. Uh, send an email to social at sideshow.com. Let us know what you won, where you won it, your address and phone number. And again, you won the figure fantasy book by Daniel Picard. Congratulations. So without further ado, let's see it. Oh, Ooh. yes, dude. Double it up. <laughs> oh, oh, we oh, are doing the fun. Night King and Jon Snow. We're Hold doubling it up. Winter me? is coming. We are going to pull out our winter parkas and go to town. Uh, these oh, are out. these are absolutely winter, winter parkas. Usually means that the temperature hit fifty five degrees in California, right? Yeah, well, exactly. Fifty five um, okay. degrees. Are you trying to freeze me? <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at that. Um, um, now, uh, Guy and Terry, I don't know um, if you know this. Now, there's a reason we're doing this. And it's because next week we're getting as close as we can to Decade. the Iron Anniversary. It's the yeah. 10th anniversary of the premiere of yep. Game of Thrones. HBO is celebrating, which means we are celebrating. Now, there may be some giveaways next week. Oh, oh there I'm could saying be. there Ooh, might tight. be some giveaways, everyone, for I don't know why I'm getting two so excited. <laughs> seriously badass figures. Uh, Both these... of these figures I've gotten to see in, in person multiple times, and they are awesome. These are no, these but... are amazing. And I, I, Paul, I know on our site uh, there is something that I have at home, and perhaps fans of the show do, uh, which is the costumes of Game of Thrones. Yes. Um, and if you have that book at home, 
have it ready for next week because when you see just how accurate these oh. are, um, you know, yeah. you'll flip to page 42 and there's, there's, you know, John's uh, cloak. Oh my goodness. It looks just like it. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing the work that they have done and the intricacies. I cannot wait to show these off. Uh, I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. They, uh, they're very, the uh, show and the books and everything are very big in my household. Um, so this will be a lot of fun. Um, and we get to celebrate Game of Thrones anniversary. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Of that. And you know, Guy and, and Terry, again, are the the um, Unsealed and Revealed audience is just the best. Now, not only have they in one show suggested that they play along at home if they have this piece that, you know, they pose along, mm -hmm. send us some pictures, but I think we've got a winning hashtag, but I want to run it by both of you. Okay. What okay, about talking hashtag goose. home posers? Home posers. I like it. I Bam. Home posers. Home posers. Let's do it. As long as it's not too problematic, but we'll figure that out next week, it seems. Okay. Yeah. You got a week to sort <laughs> yeah, that we're out. We're going to so, run that yeah. past legal. Uh, make sure that there's no. We'll um, run it past legal. And um, again, uh, huge thanks to everyone in home posers. Thank you, single songwriter who watches every week. We hey, you. thank you. Yeah, Glad nice. you're here. Okay. All right. So I think. I think that's about the. I think that's about it for this episode of Unsealed and Revealed. I want to thank everybody who took the time out of their day to tune in and watch us as we unseal and reveal a figure live for you all to see. Uh, congratulations to the winner of our contest. One more, Dan one more copy of Daniel Picard's book has been thrown out into the wild. Enjoy it, and you. I, I guarantee that you will. It's such a great book for your fantasy. Um, yeah, so uh, next week, tune in again. We'll be uh, clearly unsealing and revealing two figures. So you get two figures for the price of one in the next show. Uh, and until then, well, don't forget to let your geek side show. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye now. Goodbye. Bye.